director of Elgin Balian, one of Asia's top wedding photographers, Lito C. An international award-winning documentary and street photographer, Saiza Bakani. You saw a lot of their work. On the screen earlier, you can see a bunch of it in the gallery outside. You guys are amazing. I'm so happy to be up on stage with you guys again, but wait, 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 okay? I think you have a little bit wait. Wait. <laughs> Look at all of you guys, you're all decked out, so okay. Um, so you guys have had a chance to play with these cameras. You've got the X-Pro2s, um, Saiza having a lot of um, time with the X70, which I, which I personally really love as well, and this amazing um, lens, which I will borrow from you if I ever go to Africa, okay? Okay, so, should we get another mic for all right, so just, you know, I just want to ask you guys, what is your um, experience? Let, let's start with the X-Pro2, definitely the camera of the moment. Um, I'm well, loving the new features. Nico, what is your experience with this camera? Um, actually, we've had this camera since last year. It was still a prototype. It was a top secret uh, thing. So Japan, since the main headquarters, they love the Filipinos so much, so they sent us the prototypes last year, and we were already playing with it. That's why we had the earlier photos, so when it was launched um, last week in Tokyo, we already had photos up. Uh, first things first, um, the range finder feel to it, you know, it, it makes you want to shoot again. Yes. Um, definitely the speed, uh, it's really, really fast compared to the XT1. Yes. Very big difference, and especially for my kind of work, 24.3 megapixels will really, really go a long way. And I love how Fuji actually kept the form factor yes. the same, yes. you know, because the X Pro One was amazing in that sense, and you know, if it's not broken, don't yeah. fix it. But the additions that they put up there, like the um, the, the ISO, number. yeah, the ISO dial, the ISO it's, dial, uh, is, you know, it's such a great. It's, very reminiscent of the old SLR cameras. Yes. So when, when I showed Nito the, the unit, because I got it first with uh, Romel and Jan, so I told Nito, oh, the unit's here. And I said, like, can you still do the ISO thing? So, of course, it's ASA. <laughs> so if you say ASA, it means you're a seasoned photographer. <laughs> okay, so I will use ASA now. <laughs> And the joystick on the back of that camera is actually such a joy to use. You know, at first I was thinking, oh, what, is this a gimmick or, you know, what is it going to feel like? It actually is amazing to use. Um, it, it took a while for us to actually uh, uh, be used to it because we're so used to pressing down and then change, changing the, the focus point. So up until like we were in Japan, we were using it every day. Okay, it's a lot easier because this time, from one focus point, you can actually diagonally transfer to another one. And from 43, we have 77 focus points. And you can do that all while looking through that amazing hybrid viewfinder. Well, I've been playing around with this for two days now. And just earlier today, I picked up my XT1. And for some reason, I was looking for the choice. So it's a great addition. I think everyone who picks up this unit is going to take to that. Um, what about the... Uh, Romel and Lito, what about you guys? What, what are you loving about the X-Pro2? The X-Pro2. The X-Pro2. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as a wedding photographer, um, I've been shooting a lot of uh, low light situations. So with this new uh, X-Trans 3, they, can off they offer like a 12,800 ISO. So amazingly, so um, still sharp. Because but my problem before when I was shooting with the XT1, I got to shoot at 2800. But now it's totally different. And, and I even like the, the size of the resolution, which is 24.3 megapixel. Yeah. And one thing that I like also is the, the electronic shutter. When, when I'm shooting weddings, I'm not so obtrusive with kids. And sometimes I'm shooting um, ring bearers and um, flower girls. And you don't even hear anything from the camera. Yeah, that's um, amazing. Actually, you know when they say that it is a usable twelve thousand, um, uh, sorry, twelve thousand eight hundred shutter speed. It actually really. It's actually really true. You know, a lot of times you hear, you know, camera companies claiming that it's got usable sixty four hundred or what have you. When you look at it in actuality, okay, whatever, it's an image, but it's extremely grainy. 
to your, you know, most standards, it's really not really easy. It's noisy. Okay, film photographer gravy. Okay, it's noisy. But here I did test it and it was definitely usable. And Romel, what about you? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, me the one is about the optical viewfinder. It's the hybrid one. So I normally shoot with my optical, but most of the time, like, Lito is more of the low light. Naman, more of the bright sun. So it's really hard to shoot on a bright sun using your DSLR with your optical. But with, with Uji, you can shift from optical, uh, optical to electronic where you can shoot direct through the viewfinder shooting against the sun. That's seven of, by the way, this is not sunset. This is sunrise. This is about seven, about seven in the morning. No, seven in the morning, shooting against the sun, it's really hard using your DSLR. Well, you know, my experience actually, that, that's true. With an optical viewfinder, I actually use mine um, when I'm in the beach. I like to take pictures of my kids in the beach, and I'm one of those that like to shoot at an F2 all the time. So that plus the electronic um, shutter at 3200, it becomes, you know, you can shoot someone, noontime sun, F2, F2 it's yeah. possible. Yep. It's possible to shoot. And, you know, truth be told, when you're on the beach and you've got that glaring sun and all those reflections, the electronic viewfinder sometimes is completely useless. You need an optical and then you can use your camera. So these are great additions that um, Fuji has put into the um, F Pro 2, which makes this camera just like tremendously much better especially than the x pro one which was you know a four-year-old is a four-year-old camera all right you know another thing that i love that they um just launched is the little x70 you know when when news came out that the x70 was created i i read the i read the um reviews and i said damn this is a really great camera but obviously because of the x pro 2 it's a bit overshadowed but size that you've gotten to you know use this camera i think it is a great camera what is your experience with it uh i trust this camera so much i shot an enter assignment in abu dhabi using this <laughs> it's an assignment uh i'm not and aside from it's cute, just like me, <laughs> uh, it allows me to shoot the subjects without them knowing it at all. And it's really fast. It can produce a professional quality group with this size. It's amazing. It's one of the best, actually. Uh, this photo, the size of the shot with the X70, is actually printed about that size in Tokyo. So even with this small camera, you could produce um, beautiful images with that quality, that size. And Just another good. thing is I'm very uh, particular with the prints uh, because I do exhibits. But, so uh, that one is shot with a JPEG compressed to 200p because I forgot to, you know, uh, I resize it. <laughs> so I gave it to them in a very small file, but it, they were able to print it that way. And it's still beautiful. So that is amazing. Yeah, so it just goes to show you do not need those, you know, really big, you don't need a very big camera to produce great results. Can I add something about yeah. the X-Pro 2? Um, yeah, sure. Remember the shot I being displayed there with a uh, prenuptial shoot with uh, Wendy and Norman? Um, this is my very first shoot with uh, the X-Pro 2. And if you notice, the original picture of those picture, uh, their picture on the, under the tree, uh, it was so dark. And I tried exposing the, the shadow side underexposed because I want to capture the sky at the same time, right? So one nice thing with this camera is the exposure latitude of the shadow side is very, very nice. Plus, plus, plus four. It's like, but I'm a JPEG user. I, I took that picture using JPEG and you can see it right there, printed in 20 by 30. The, 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 the quality is really, really nice. Yes, that's what I notice also at Fuji is that, you know, it's nice to have raw, but the JPEGs that come out of a Fuji camera is just mind-blowingly good. And as, as they've mentioned, you can have these gorgeous prints made, giant size, which, you know, not too many people, unless you're going to do a gallery, <laughs> you don't really need to print that big. But if you want to, you can absolutely do it with a Fuji <coughs> camera. So um, I've had a little bit of experience with the X70. 
you know, I think is a great camera for uh, the consumer market is because it's so small. And if, if you're going to be shooting street, nobody's going to take, you know, they're not going to notice. It's very inconspicuous. You know, you're not going to be in anyone's faces, yet you get just such amazing quality. And that's like a cake, come on. That's selfie screen. That is great. <laughs> just to add also, the X70 uh, piece of trivia, because uh, two nights before we left Tokyo, we had dinner with uh, uh, Kawahara-san. He is what we would consider the father of the mirrorless revolution because he was the, the inventor of the X100. So technically, the X70 is the grandchild of the X100, having the 100S to 100T and the X70. If you look at my Instagram account right now, I just posted a photo of the X70. It also comes with a viewfinder that you could slide on the hot shoe. So it kind of gets that, uh, that red dot feel. Yes. And you won't say the brand. <laughs> so it's really nice, so it's really compact, and you have a viewfinder with a small camera, and it's the first X-series camera that's touchscreen. So, and it's a great touchscreen, actually. It, it really, it works. So. It's also very good for selfies. That's yeah. what I mean. It's great for selfies. And, you know, like both cameras, X-Pro2 and the X70, they, you know, they both have Wi-Fi built into them, so you can take a really great selfie and put that straight on Instagram. <laughs> and another camera that was launched um, is the XE2S, which Jan has had um, a lot of time with as well. Um, what do you like about it? What do you like about it that is different from obviously the XE2? Well, it's like this. It's easier to understand if, you, if I explain to you. There are so many Xs already, you're gonna get confused. You have the XT1 and then uh, younger brother, the XT10. Yes. Right? So we have the X Pro 2, and then this is the younger brother, the XT2S. It's still a rangefinder, does everything except it's streamlined. So it's the AF is really quick. So that's what I love about it. It's really quick. Yes, and that's been such a popular model that you know, obviously, you know, all the consumers are like, you've gotta have another one. Like, do not kill this line. It's a great camera, and obviously, it's been around. The XE line has been around for how many years now? Four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah, so you know that's a testament to how great this camera is and um, I'm sure this newest one with the updated um, innards basically, you know, all those additional things is going to make, you know, this camera such a hot seller as well. And uh, I want to also talk about this great lens, which is the XF 100 to 400. Lito, what can you say about it? How is this? How do you use this? Well, I've been looking for this kind of lens ever since because I actually have the the. 40 and the 50 to 140 mm, which is like equivalent to 210, the maximum focal length. But this time it's 400 mm, so I mean, way of photography sometimes you don't have to be very close to the subjects, like you, you're capturing moments like father, or brothers, or mother crying, and you're really somewhere there taking pictures. And uh, this is one really great camera, it's really, really light. It's only 1.4 kilogram, unlike to my other brand you know, that I've been using before, this was like 1.6 kilogram. Okay. That's, so that's a big, big difference, that's right? A big difference. And it has like 14 elements in, um, 16 elements in, uh, no, 17, 17? Uh, 21, 21 <laughs> elements. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the other brand. <laughs> 21 elements in 14. Of what shall not be named. Yeah. <laughs> in 14 groups, imagine that. So the quality definitely is. Yes. And they added, like um, five uh, ED lens and one, no, there's one, one, one super ED lens. So that to remove and improve the chromatic aberration when you're using a super telephoto lenses. So needless to say, this is now definitely in your little be one of the gadgets I'll be using. Uh, I hope that the Fuji film is using right here now. <laughs> I have a wedding tomorrow actually. So, the camera, first wedding. <laughs> Aside from wedding photographers, who do you see uh, using this uh, lens? Um, sports photographers, bird photography, uh, what else? Wild, yeah. Oh, wild photography. <laughs> um, just look at, uh, if you guys are in, on Instagram, look at Nito's feed. 
Because when we were in Japan, we had photos of eagles, whatsoever, crows, birds, and whatnot that you might see on the Instagram using that lens. <laughs> yeah. Do you have the photo? Uh, yeah. We have sample shots using them because we were uh, going around Tokyo and doing street photography, travel oh. photography, but Nito actually. The only one right. using this. Yeah, it was, it was right. using, yeah. using a wide lens, and I'm the only one using this one. And they're like, oh my god, I'm, I'm carrying a very heavy lens. <laughs> so you look like, not heavy at they all. look like street photographers. Yeah, they look like, like paparazzi. Right? <laughs> you just so, look like paparazzi. <laughs> but when they look at my shots, it's like, wow, it's so different. Because all of their shots are wide. Yeah. And mine is really tight, like focusing on things that I can shoot from afar. So it's still totally different. You know, so, um, do you have it, Glenn? The pictures I gave to you the, in the USB file? No. You don't have it? Anyway, yeah, because we, we uh, I just want to show them uh, the shots I took in Japan where there are these Japanese people wearing tangas, you know. And then, <laughs> and I was like, I was just like crazy enough to take uh, a very different kind of shot. Is there? That, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, that was a Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris wheel. We were very, very far. And I can, I can, imagine, can imagine I can take a picture from very far with that clothing. You can even zoom it in and you can see the person inside that carousel. Imagine that. If you're like trying to capture like um, someone dating For real. Uh, your, your wife. <laughs> Okay. And the so, color. The color is really nice. The color that no, the other one, the, the Japanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it? Oh my god. Oh, god. It's there. Wow. So I was at the bat photos are on Instagram. The bat photo is very inspiring. <laughs> But oh, the bat, the bat of the Japanese. Oh. <laughs> I thought you captured the bat. Like, all the details and <laughs> the bat, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's great. So obviously this lens is something that a wildlife photographer, you know, birding, a sports photographer, and wedding photographer can use. Um, any more words you guys want to talk about? Any more experiences and tidbits, things you love about? When I got the X-Pro one four years ago, one of the reasons why I love that was, like what they said, the film simulation, you know? Since Fuji has been making films since the beginning, they were able to incorporate the films and make it into ones and zeros. And it's the first time that, because when I was still shooting film, um, aside from Belvia, my favorite film was Neopad. And now they've added the Neopan Acros film simulation. So the black and whites with the X-Pro 2 are really nice. Uh, I think one photo using the Acros with Sat Pinto is exhibited outside. So you could actually see the, the gradation, the black and whites, the tonality, is, it's really good. And you know, before I close this, you know, another thing that they've added in the X-Pro 2 is the gray effect. Yes, the great effect. I, uh -huh. I really, really love that. I think it really looks like the film Filming, grain. Yeah. No, no, it's grain. grain. <laughs> it does capture that. Um, so I want to, you know, you guys have heard from, from the ex photographers and Glenn earlier. Oh, okay. So apparently they found the USB and they're going to um, show some photos. But I want to ask you guys, you know, think of questions. If you have any questions, all the photographers are up on stage and they can answer your questions. <laughs> Sorry, but oh my gosh. You notice that guy wearing the, the tanga thing in his face. And then he turned around like the next shot. What's the next shot? 
there's a festival. I don't know what, what festival that was, but um, Silencer ata ng ano eh, tinanggal. Nandiyan ba? MTRC. MTRC, not that one. Just a close-up shot. Yeah. See? See those things there? That's really, really sharp. So, uh, you can zoom it in. But, but for them, that's art. For the Japanese people, That's yeah, <laughs> tanga, the the, the latest fashion <laughs> thing in Japan. Oh, I got the polka dots. So many arts. Oh my god. Okay, so do you guys have any questions for all these photographers up here on stage? Now's the time to ask if you're interested in any of the cameras. Yes, please. Here. Hello. Uh, this is Ted Claudio from WhatsApp.ph. I just have a question uh, regarding the X70. Uh, Kawara-san, the designer of uh, the X100, uh, in the previous press con, he mentioned that uh, according to research, 35mm is one of the, the best uh, focal length. It's very versatile. So I was wondering why in the X70, like the X100, uh, they didn't do the 35mm. Instead, they did the 28 mm. <laughs> uh, okay, 35 mm is actually the the perfect lens since the human eye, if our eyes were lenses, it would be 35 mm. Our point of view is actually 35 mm. Well, aside from um, price point to bring it down to make the X70 cheaper. It actually comes with a new wide conversion lens that would convert it into a 35 also. So it's an option. But I think since it's a 2.8 lens and we already have the uh, 35 lens for the X-Pro2, they kind of wanted something a bit wider. So because sometimes 35 for street is a bit tight. But it also comes with a conversion lens and I think, when, yeah. The best part also, the X70 has a digital zoom that you could use. So if you still want to utilize 35 mm, you still have 35 mm. I asked for it. That's why they put <laughs> Yeah, we, we listen for photographers. Yeah, so, I'm uh, telling them that 35 is too, too tight. tight for me. So I was like, see? That's how much I'm doing. Just imagine. You know, I also think that it's more helpful because they incorporated the selfie in the, uh, the selfie touch screen. At 35, you'll be a little too close, but at 28, you can actually get more people in the photo. So um, I think that that was a good idea on Fuji's part. And also because there's already the X100, right? So if you needed the 35, you can get the X100, one of the X100 lines. Yeah, just a follow-up question. Yeah, just a follow-up question. Uh, is, are there any disadvantages when it comes to like digital zooming or the digital... Uh, uh, mechanism of uh, zooming it from from 28 to 35 to 50. Does the resolution change at all in the final output or not? Honestly, no. That's the best thing about Fuji. Uh, the files of Fuji film is the best files you can ever have. And I've tried other cameras aside from Fuji before, and I can say that I'm very much. Uh, uh, content with the files that they're giving me because I'm very particular on that part. So zoom or not, it's still the same. The files are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we have a question here. How shockproof are Fuji cameras? Shock. Romel, the street photographer. Actually, this is street photographer. Shockproof. Bumagsak. So far, hindi ko pa nababagsak ang camera. Pero I was able to bring this camera, the X-T1, Sa Nepal, no? I was climbing for 10 days, snow, mulan, so wala problema with me, with two bodies with me, maybe I can show that on my FPPF workshop, the video I had. Uh, in Japan, we had an experience also, one of our, isang kasama namin sa Japan, nahulog yung XT10. Awa ng Diyos, hindi naman niya binayaran kasi okay pa rin. And aside from that, <laughs> the X-T1, aside from being weather resistant and the X-Pro2, 
they're also made out of magnesium, so it shouldn't be a problem. And sometimes for me, if you check in your uh, media kits, there's a photo of an X-Pro 2 that's been weathered out. Gas, gas, lahat. And it looks really nice, you know. It's, it's like from a seasoned photographer, it's a weathered camera. It really goes well with the rangefinder feel to it. So, shockproof, I think it's not a problem. So. I think I can answer that question because um, um, when I'm shooting weddings, I use the XT one, right? So, and, and if you notice that I am the product ambassador of the spider holster, okay? So, there was one time when I was um, shooting weddings and then I forgot to lock my ex, uh, the, the, the spider thing. So it fell down, and I was like, oh, shucks. Buto na lang Fuji. Nangput ko, and shoot weddings right away. Walang problema. Yeah, it was tested. All right, so there are no... Uh, I always travel, and means I mean, it's not advisable to just put your cameras in your luggage. <laughs> but I do that because it's, uh, I carry a lot of stuff. So, iniiwan ko yung camera ko sa luggage ko and you know well naman na kapag na yung luggage, chinet in mo, hagis-hagis lang yon. And fortunately, buhay pa yung mga camera ko, buhay ang gano'n ngayon. So, that's how shock proof it is. And for real life also, actually, I just always just throw my cameras in my bag. My children use my cameras. You know, that gets thrown everywhere. Don't worry, they didn't throw they didn't touch themselves. You know, that gets thrown everywhere. So my camera's pretty beat up and it still um, it still works excellently. So I don't think there's an issue with um, with Fuji cameras and being shot through. So any more questions? Alright, so if there's no more questions, um, I'd like to call on oh thank you guys for being up on stage with me. Guys, big round of applause for all our next photographers. So may I now please call on the, Talaga, uh, once mo, again. Yeah. Lakas mo talaga. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a special announcement. We have these. Free cameras. <laughs> special dealer promotions, which we are going to offer um, on Feb, on January 28th to Feb. Oh, so that's during Photo World 2016. And then on um, Feb 6, 2016, um, it's a during our launch. So what are those? Mid-year. Um, for X Pro 2, okay, let, um, this is officially announced the SRD for X Pro 2. So this is value for your money. The, the price of the body is 19990 but if you purchase, um, if you pre-order during Photo World, you get um, 35 mm f to a 10,990, so that's um, a value of 10,000, so that's um, roughly 50 off. And then um, you get three leather case, valued at 5,290, and then you get an overall savings of 15,290. The beauty about this is that um, the global release will be um, second week of Feb, so we are quite privileged to be the first ones to, to be released with these products. And let me let us remind you that due to the global demand, there is uh, gonna be there is a uh, no, there is a projected um, insufficiency in, in terms of uh, the supply. So we highly recommend that you reserve or you 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 pre-order during Photo World. Um, so that's for the next protein. For the X70, the the SRP is thirty six thousand nine hundred ninety pesos. And then you get free leather, free leather case. So the we are Philippines is again um, uh, the first one to release um, that product prior to the worldwide release. So we are very fortunate. And then for XT one and XT ten, um, we have a promo also for Photo World. Um, buy any of the following: the XT one body eighteen to one thirty five, eighteen to fifty five, and XT ten body sixteen to fifty, twenty seven, and eighteen to fifty five at regular SRP, and you get the thirty five F two at ten thousand nine ninety. So that's a value of ten thousand pesos. Now for the X for the XE two, um, we are adjusting the prices um, for Photo World and Cebu launch. So from um, for the body from 46,990, it's gonna be 
down to 32,990. So that's 14,000 peso value. And then for XE2, 80 to 55 kids, so from 62,990 to 42,990. So that's 20,000 peso worth of savings. Very fun. Now for the X100T, we are giving away um, free wide conversion lens or teleconverter tele valued at 17,000 or 15,990 respectively. And then finally for our X30, we are adjusting the prices from 31,990 to 19,990. So that's 12,000 peso savings. Now for our um, for our um, action camera lens, the XP80, um, we are I'm sorry for the weather uh, for the underwater camera we have um, buy XP80 at 9,990 and you get free action camera lens worth 1,990. But wait, there's more. We also have promo for our Instax cameras. So if you purchase the Instax White W300, you get free demo film. So that's two packs, 10 sheets per pack of a low-key white film. And then um, for Instax Wide 210, you have, um, so this is, this is the SRP for the Instax Wide 210, 4,420. The same thing, you have free um, Hello Kitty films if you purchase such items. And then for the Mini 8, for the Mini 8, you get free gift pack that comes with uh, no, with camera case, demo film, washi tapes, and scrapbooks. So for your kids. So if the parents will buy the X series, you might as well start your kids young by the Instax cameras. And then for Instax Share, um, for every purchase of Instax, Instax Share, and the user is entitled to a 2,000 discount on SRP. And then you get a free gift pack worth 1,000 pesos. So there you go. And finally, for the pricing of the new products, um, for the XE2S, the, the standard retail price is 36990 for the body. And then for the 18 to 55 kit, we have 52990 pesos. And for the Fujinon 100 to 400 um, lens, the SRP is 999999 so we piece of all the time so there you go at this point nothing you agree to the answer okay guys you know I know you guys are a little shocked with the price let's say for the X Pro 2 that came out but can I please say you've got to look at it like this okay first of all it's worth it Second of all, it's one of those cameras that actually get better with age, and as we were talking about, the durability of the camera is really good. It is extremely well built, and it's just going to look better with age. Next point is knowing Fuji, they're probably not going to come out with another body for another, another four years. And they're going to be updating this firmware. So in about maybe a year's time or six months, even God knows, it's going to be like a brand new camera again. So you got to look at it that way. It's actually an investment. It's not one of those cameras that are going to be replaced in a year's time. So if you look at it like that in a number of times you're going to use it, I think it's worth every centavo that you put in here. So place your orders. I know I already have my place. Place your orders because the stocks that are coming in are limited. So if you want yours, order them now. Um, it's been a joy to be up here before I uh, before I call for the closing remarks. Um, oh, sorry, may I call on once again Takuya Maeda San for the closing remarks for today's events. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, I really appreciate so many people come here. And uh, well, um, we have uh, several things. Uh, because Fujifilm is just only five years. And uh, but people may feel like thinking about uh, just only five years and new uh, manufacturing. But as uh, Ma mentioned about, in these five previous five years, we have uh, more than 80 years technology within this camera. And uh, every time I go to headquarters, I feel really appreciated because there are so many technical persons 
since he worked for Fujifilm more than 20 years, 30 years for the film. And uh, because our almost uh, unfortunately film market was shrink, but those technical person try to divide the film technology into digital camera. They checking the picture. Oh, this is not real after us. This is not real Belvia. This is not real past year. They try to take time to putting their spirit into this camera. So um, I really appreciate our camera. So. I believe um, our, if, if you use this camera, you will enjoy uh, the photography. And also, uh, I hope you feel uh, the history of the uh, film technology. And uh, also, uh, not only providing camera, uh, what we are talking about is Fujifilm, our marketing team, should be most approachable to the market. We are open to listen to the people. So if you have any questions, if you have any requests, please uh, contact me uh, through Facebook, through phone. We are very open. We try to develop our uh, next marketing strategy and uh, next product. And uh, lastly, fortunately, uh, 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 we have a photo world. We, we like to join um, January 28 to February 2. Actually, uh, the new product, X70, and uh, X100 to 400, and XE to S. Actually, worldwide uh, uh, delivery launching is second week of February. But uh, we have a special permission from headquarters, so we can start selling the, those items in Ottawa. So which means, if you buy those items, you must be uh, one of the uh, uh, earliest users of new product. And uh, fortunately, uh, X Pro 2, we also started the selling that event, but uh, due to the high demand, so we try to uh, a little bit delay the production uh, to, to accumulate the stock. So we uh, happily opened the uh, pre order. But uh, unfortunately, uh, maybe we cannot suffer the uh, provide enough quantity. So please, uh, uh, if you really want the camera, please come to photo world uh, as much as early as possible to order pre-order so that we can deliver uh, the artists also in the world. Yeah, uh, okay. So, so uh, again, thank you for coming and uh, I hope uh, you enjoy our camera. And uh, please uh, keep in touch. Thank you very much. Fuji's so full of surprises now. We have a bit of a raffle before you guys. Um,